What's happening YouTube? In today's video, I'm shooting street photography in the rain with the Fuji 56mm f1.2. Not my usual lens, but I wanted to try it out so I rented it to give it a go and see how I enjoyed it for street photography. And if you like this point of view style street photography video where you get to see real street photography happening and another photographer's process, then hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos at least once a week. Just before I jump into this GoPro footage, I also wanna say sorry for not putting my camera settings in the last video, I totally forgot. And in a rush to get this video edited and put out there, I'm gonna just put it on key pictures uh, throughout this video because for some weird reason it takes me forever to actually title um, all my pictures with the camera settings so I'm just trying to streamline that because I've got a wedding tomorrow and I don't have the time to do it before the end of this week and I have to upload at least one video a week so blah 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 that's why there's only some settings in this video so all right GoPro time so I start off on Chestnut Street, I'm about to cross the river and I see all these people coming up onto Sierra Green. But there's too many people there and I don't really like that shot. But then this one guy separates himself from the group and I like this much better. There's one subject and it's a nice simple sort of graphic city looking scene. Now I'm walking across this bridge, like half the bridge is cut off because they seem to have demolished it. Not sure exactly what they're doing with that, but took a shot of this guy who's reconstructing it on the other side of the thing. I don't really like this shot. There needs to be more happening in there, but I do like that he's wearing a bright orange shirt. Further along the bridge, there's this guy on a bike that goes past me. And again, nothing's really happening, but there's just kind of an interesting city scene. You very rarely would see Chestnut Street empty like this with roadworks blocking off the street. So if nothing else, it's cool to document that. Maybe the state of the pavement here is the reason they're renovating it so much. I see this bike path that runs under the bridge and I thought I'd wait there and see if anyone comes along. And there's a cyclist with a red shirt coming along there, which is perfect. So I frame him in between these uh, railings here and I get this. I like that the arrows are going both ways and he's going the wrong way on the other side of the arrow. He was actually just passing a pedestrian, but she was blocked off by the railing there. All right, on the other side of that bridge, there's this like new area that I've never walked through before and it leads into this car park. That student took a shot here for a second. Uh, I kind of like the architecture, but there was nothing interesting going on. And then inside the car park, I just uh, I went up to like the fourth or fifth floor and just waited up here for someone to walk past me with an umbrella. But then these construction guys like pushed some stuff around and I shot this one. And I really like this because there was like the bright yellow and orange helmet. There was a little bit of the tree in there and then this square sort of grid of the pavement. As I made my way down the street, I passed this dry cleaners. There was a person just like perched away in the background. Um, I don't really like how this one came out. They're a bit too far away. Um, not really enough going on in the reflections. Colors aren't that good. Let's move on. Following this guy with a suit and an umbrella. So this, the cliche sort of guy in a suit and carrying an umbrella on a rainy day kind of shot. Don't love this, this picture, but don't particularly hate it either. Then I stop on this corner, there's a bunch of people with umbrellas and I just wait to see if anything cool came about. I thought the color contrast here might be might be good, but it's there's too much going on. It's not, it's not good. And then there's this like, it looks like a closed down theater or something and it's just like black painted walls and I used the roof of this car to sort of create like a, I don't know, some sort of depth or like block the frame a little bit. And it actually came out looking white instead of black. And I've got these several different pictures as people were passing through. I think there needs to be more interesting stuff happening. I like this one with the umbrella because it's bright colored, but there's still nothing like, maybe I'm too far away still. This was the first missed opportunity. I didn't notice it early enough, but red and black umbrella and a red and black store. Stopped outside this jewelry store. It's yellow, like neon this time, trying to recreate the scene from the last video. It's too bright in the day though. And when the people walk past, I actually shot it too early. So completely missed that one. On this same street corner, there's a girl with a yellow umbrella. So tried a couple shots of her, but didn't work out. I missed focus as well. 
then came across another yellow umbrella. This one is a bit more of a pattern to it, which was kind of cool. This was like a standard, this is just a shopping umbrella really, there's nothing great about that. But then this other purple umbrella appears and that's like complementary colours there with the purple and the yellow. So I followed these two for a little while and just kept trying to shoot slightly different compositions as we moved through different places. And further along this street, there's actually a theatre. So I'm kind of waiting for that to come along because it's got tons of lights on the, on the, like, the overhang part. And I really thought something good was going to come of this one, but I'm just, I just keep, as again, I just keep firing stuff off. I think the purple umbrella fell behind a little bit further this time, and all of the shots were like too underexposed. There wasn't enough light anymore on the yellow umbrella. Yeah, I, I, they didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped. I went up this other car park here. It was raining a bit more, and I was in an area where more people were using up, were walking by with umbrellas. Uh, I saw this car on the on in there, I thought it was kind of a cool car. So I just kind of hang over the edge of this car park as well, looking down towards the sign and using that as kind of an uh, element in the frame. And almost immediately these three people walk past and I get this shot here and then I keep shooting and get this one with the two of them. So I tried the other side here where the other entrance is and almost immediately this person's walking by with like a burgundy umbrella and I kind of missed the shot, they weren't as far up in the frame as I would have liked them to be. But hang around there a bit longer. And there's this person on the other side of the street here and they walk across and right into the frame where I would like them to be and I get this shot. This one I really like, and actually it looks better in landscape orientation, which is the way that I set it up for when I post it on Instagram. But uh, yeah, I'm really pumped with this one. I like that the, there's the blue umbrella, it's like a nice dark blue, and there's also the yellow, the line, which gives a little color contrast. Maybe I'd have liked them to be in a different part of the frame. That might have made it better if they were down in one of the corners, there's a lot of negative space, but otherwise uh, I'm really happy with this one. I wait around a little longer, trying some other shots and this bright red umbrella comes along. So I'm ready for this one this time and I just fire off a bunch of shots and I get this. And what I love about this one is that the person is fully contained underneath that umbrella. So you don't see any hands or feet sticking out. And it's just a red umbrella on the sidewalk with the yellow and the blue from the sign and the, and the, the painted lines at the side of the road. So I think that one's really cool. Decided it's probably time to give up on shooting these kind of things because I'm going to have nothing but look down shots of umbrellas to share. On the way out I take a photo of these like green railings. Not that I think they're particularly cool, I just thought it might actually, if, if in the future I need something green to add into a photo set or something like that, then this is the perfect time. Just as I leave there, there's this food truck and a guy's hand like leaning on the on the door. And right as I took the shot, he moved it, which is really annoying. It would have been in a much nicer position and maybe it would have been kind of a cooler shot. But at this point, the UV filter that came with this lens is like fogging up. So I'm trying to fix that. And I'll just take a shot of this sign up here. Whatever, it's fine. All right, outside another jewelry store. This guy walks by an umbrella. Timed it better than the last one, but the depth of field was too shallow, I think. They were really blurry. I wish that I'd brought the focus back and just made them like a silhouette that was sharp instead of focusing on the background again. That's exactly what I did the last time, and it's the exact same complaint I have about it from my last video. There's a good reflection window here because it's like got this black tint on it, and um, don't really like how this shot came out. I see what I was trying to do. This area of town does not seem to have a lot of people walking around it just now. I thought I might be able to make something out of the holes that are in these construction things, but nobody going past, not really anything interesting happening. This alleyway as well, but nothing happening in there. And then as I'm walking back up Walnut Street, I see this girl like sit, looking at her phone, she has a nice hat on, and I'm like deathly scared that she's gonna look up and catch me at this point. But I shot it while I was still walking, and the focus missed, probably because it settled and then didn't take the shot and I kept moving. So it actually focused more on her hair, just slightly beyond her face, than on her hat or on her face. All right, I'm in the Jefferson Hospital area, and I'm actually shooting a picture of like a random parking sign in the distance, but it does not come out. 
and probably missed that opportunity for those people in scrubs there. If I had stood there any longer, I would have missed this shot with this blue wall and the guy with the umbrella. I think my camera's just in automatic at this point and I'm just hoping that it works out and I'm firing off shots as he comes past. Doesn't even notice that I'm there. And I really like this. I would rather that his face was obscured somehow. This is probably one of my favorite shots of the day just for that sort of color block style about it. All right, this I think is like a student building or sort of like student hub at Jefferson, but uh, they've got these like interesting archways and come up here and there's people coming up and down these stairs. So let's try a couple things. This person's coming down, take a shot here. And like, it's fine. I don't mind the composition, but I think the light in the background is a bit distracting, a bit too harsh or something like that. And around the other side, I'd try the same thing again, just shooting through the window, trying to get those layers. I'm a bit far away from that silhouette there and also they're mixed in with the tree. So it doesn't really work out. Outside another theater, I've never noticed so many theaters in my life. And I'd try just like cutting it off and just getting this F in there. I don't know why I thought it would be cool. It needs a more interesting subject than a letter. All right, coming up to this Chipotle here, there's a guy eating inside there and he's just, it's just him in there. And I try another reflection photo. And I like these types of photos because you get lots of layers and different like things happening and it sometimes can be really cool and interesting, but this one was not, so moving on. Coming up to this like burnt orange colored building, there's a guy with a blue and white umbrella. So I just start shooting and hope for the best. And I actually photoshopped out the sign that was in the corner because it made this picture look a little cleaner, but I still don't really like the picture. So whatever. And then trying again with these reflection pictures, there's a ladder just sitting inside this empty, like construction zone building that's getting refurbished and um, doesn't really come out that interesting. But uh, I do like taking these kind of pictures as well because in a couple months I'll come back and this will be a store or something else or a restaurant or something like that. And that's kind of cool seeing things change. And this puddle here, there was a, look at that person with the black and white umbrella, they were standing there just doing all sorts of great things that would have gave me awesome pictures and for whatever reason I was not shooting this or I had the settings wrong maybe and nothing came out well, they dropped their umbrella, they spun it around, I had so much chances and this is what I got and that is not, that's not that great, it's not interesting, there's nothing really happening in it. I don't know how I screwed that up, I really missed I really dropped the ball on that one. I stayed at this puddle for a while, waiting on other things to happen, and this person walked through. I like this shot much better because there's a silhouette fully contained in the puddle. And then there was another one with this person coming along here with a rolled up umbrella. I like that they're wearing some kind of hat. It looks a bit more interesting. And I hung around even longer, and this guy comes along with a suit here. And I timed it really badly, and he's not fully contained in the puddle, which annoys me, but this one's not bad either. Then I went into this hotel lobby and did not get any shots for a while and then moved on to City Hall. And this is a location that I've been to a lot to shoot through these like little railing holes here. Now I can't find the exact spots where I got all these shots because the GoPro is kind of obscured but these are the shots that I got. This one would have been perfect but there's a person in the background which completely ruins it. This one I don't like because the umbrella is touching that guy's leg. Otherwise, the two people walking opposite ways would have been kind of cool. This one's all right, purple umbrella, cool pattern. I like this one, even though it's a bit off center because of the way that the person's holding the umbrella. I think it looks really cool. And then this one is kind of like a gesture here with this blue umbrella as he's like unfolding it from coming in from the rain. And coming up to the entrance to Suburban Station, I thought this was gonna be a kind of cool shot, maybe if I was a lot closer. I actually think if I had got down low and cut off the, the pavement in there, I think the pavement kind of ruins it, so I've got kind of a bad angle. Uh, but I like the streaks from the rain on the window, and there's some potential with that spot. And I tried another couple of things, like trying to get some silhouettes on this LCD on the other side of the, on the other side of this window entrance thing, but, doesn't really come out how I expected, so kind of moved on to it from there. Around the other side of this LCD screen box thing, I waited for people to walk past it and I got one or two silhouettes, but they don't really come out. I thought this one was kind of weird looking because the ballet picture came up and it's like, I, I don't know, it just looks weird. So yeah, moving yeah. on from that, there was this window here that's all just green behind it and 
I thought it would go kind of cool with the red one that I got from the last time I was out, but nobody with an umbrella came past, so I just I gave up. So as per usual, I come back and I'm like, oh, maybe I've got one or two pictures that are okay. Couldn't really tell from the back of the camera if I really liked any of them. Figured I would have enough to make at least one set of photos that I would like though. And I actually managed to make two photo sets, which I think is the same as the last video as well. So doing not too bad at that. So here's the first one. I actually liked it because I had three different red umbrellas in there and don't necessarily love all of the photos individually. I think the one with the look down from the car park was probably my favourite. The other one, the one in the middle probably would have been my favourite because of the colour blocks, but I really wish the guy had covered his face with an umbrella or something. Um, I would have liked it a lot better then. And I made this other photo set as well. I don't know that this one like works as much as a photo set. The photos are a little too different and don't fully relate to each other. That picture in the middle, that picture in the middle was taken at City Hall and it was not in the earlier part of the video and that's because I rambled about problems with the electronic shutter before I was shooting it and then during the time that I was talking about the image and I was like this just doesn't need to be in the video so I just cut it out completely but that photo was shot at the same time and in the same way as the other ones. So if you want to improve your street photography and learn from my street photography process hit that subscribe button, I upload new videos every week if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Yeah.